world, it's me, Brizzy, and today I'm doing another what's in my bag video, but today it is what's in my Hogwarts bag. If this bag looks familiar to you, it's because I inherited it from the Scamander family. It once belonged to Newt Scamander. There's a very distant relation there. And yes, it is still enchanted to hold an exorbitant amount of things. So I'm gonna stop blabbing because there is so little time and so much to show you. Here we go, the first side of the case. Okay, right on top here, I see the Marauder's Map, but uh, it's not just any normal Marauder's Map. This is the Marauder's Map skirt from Black Milk Clothing, and yes, it has pockets. I have the boring old regular Marauder's Map too somewhere. I think it's at my mom's house. There's a lot of uh, Harriet Potter related things that are not gonna be in this box, but there's still a bunch to go through. My pygmy puff, look at you, and he's a Ravenclaw. I actually have not named him yet, so if you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Oh, lots of necklaces. Sorcerer's Stone book necklace, Firebolt necklace, Expecto Patronum necklace, and Manager of Mischief from Orch Nerd. Of course, I have my silver Deathly Hallows necklace and a lightning bolt pendant necklace at someone else's house right now, and I'm wearing the wooden one. What else we got here? I see some Ravenclaw mitten gloves, a Ravenclaw beanie, Ravenclaw scarf, Raven Ravenclaw tie, and the new design for the Ravenclaw tie. If you've been to Hogwarts in the past couple years, you'll know that they changed up the uniform. A Ravenclaw fashion scarf, aka when you want to sport your Ravenclaw scarf in the summer. I see some Ravenclaw suspenders, and an old school Gryffindor scarf, because you know, I have Gryffindor friends too. And I see yet more a Ravenclaw gloves. This appears to be a Deathly Hallows headband. They're very tiny, but I promise you there are Deathly Hallows on it. Here we have a little Hogwarts writing quill kit with the quill and the ink. Of course, how else do you gotta write? There's also a Ravenclaw quill here as well, and the stand. Of course, I have the Ravenclaw diadem in here as well. There may be a small relation to Rowena Ravenclaw. <laughs> Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure, after all. I've also got Helga Hufflepuff's cup here. No relation there, just holding on to it. I have a little vial of Felix Felices here for emergency situations only. A little bookcase drawer thing, because Ravenclaw. I see some, uh... <laughs> Some glasses, you know, just cause, you know, sometimes you gotta do some reading. Next I have a gorgeous 2001 umbrella. First of all, look at that headwig on the handle. So sassy. Woo! Look at that 2001 gloriousness. Oh, I love 2001 Harry Potter. Now I see just, you know, just a couple of wands because if one breaks, you never know. Here I have three wands from Harry Potter, three from Newt Scamander, one from Ron Weasley, one from Ginny Weasley Potter, one from Hermione Granger Weasley, although I should have another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. One from Molly Weasley. This is my own personal wand from Ollivanders, as well as a few kind of sketchy ones like Narcissa Malfoy. Look at that one though, the spikes, the spikes. I love it. And Bellatrix Lestrange and Voldemort. Oh, and of course, last but not least, uh, the Elder Wand. So, you know, it just never hurts to have a couple spare wands in case yours breaks. Fantastic Beasts, bookmark, I don't know, why not? And of course, a Ravenclaw wall banner to represent, even though you're in the Ravenclaw uh, dormitory, so you're only really representing two other Ravenclaws. Anywho, that is it for this side, but we're not even halfway done. Oh no, because this side uh, is the magically expandable side. Let me just open this one up real quick. Accio, Accio, all right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's get started, baby. Ravenclaw print, I still need to uh, get framed. Here we have the Ravenclaw a Quidditch towel for you know, when you feel like drying off the old muggle way. I see some HP fleecy pajama bottoms. Some more uh, glasses here, just uh, you know, see what you're doing. Here we have another Gryffindor scarf. What can I say? I have a lot of Gryffindor friends. Here we have a magnifying glass, which may seem like an odd thing to have in here, but I actually got it from Wiseacre's Wizarding Emporium in Hogsmeade. So yeah, it's relevant is all I'm saying. It's, it's magic. I'm not gonna tell you what it does because uh, I don't know if you're cleared for that kind of information, but um, 
It's pretty special. Here we have a little beanbag snitch signed by Darren Chris seven years ago, before he was on Glee, mind you. We got a little Hogwarts alumni jacket, yes, yes. And of course we have a heck of ton of books, because obviously we're going to school. You gotta read, you gotta read to make your brain learn good. So right on the top here, I see Harry Potter y las Reliquias de la Muerte. I haven't read all the Spanish ones on paper, but I think I've listened to all the audiobooks. We also have Harry Potter y la Pietra, Philosophale. I can't read Italian, but if it's Harry Potter, I'd, I bet I would still understand it. <laughs> Harry, A History by Melissa and Ellie. Harry Potter e a Camera Secreta. I think that's Portuguese. Yeah, it's Portuguese. I, I could still read it. It's If it's Harry Potter, I'm gonna understand it. And we have the Whimsic Alley Book of Spells. And uh, your good old classic, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You know, uh, doesn't seem like a big deal if you live in the UK, but uh, when you live in the US, it feels real special to have an official Philosopher's Stone edition, you know? We also got a couple big ones in here. We have The Case of Beasts. Explore the film wizardry of fantastic beasts and where to find them with the fancy magnetic claspy thing. We have a little Newt Scamander journal replica thing. But right here we have... Newt's actual journal and some, uh, you know, wax sealing instruments. Also, of course, inherited from the Scamanders. To hold all these books in place, of course, I have a couple bookends. And of course, for Muggle Studies, you know, we've got a couple things by J.K. Rowling and uh, Robert Galbraith. For Muggle Studies, you don't wanna fall behind. We got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. How cursed, 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 however you wanna say it. And we have the Hogwarts classics, Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Quidditch Through the Ages. I also have the super duper deluxe version of the Tales of Beetle the Bard, and it's like one of the nicest things I own, but I think it's at my mom's house. Here we got a little Ravenclaw journal. Whoopow for taking them notes. Or writing all your deepest, darkest secrets and confiding in the memory of a teenage Voldemort, but you know, whatever. We also have an unofficial journal here that's not actually, you know, Hogwarts official, but it's very Ravenclaw. And the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. And here, of course, I have my own little miniature mirror of Erised. Because what better way to remind yourself on the go that you are happiest just the way you are. And yeah, it's really dirty. Sorry about that. Here we have uh, just a little, you know, Ravenclaw robe. Doubles as a bathrobe if, if, if you're feeling like it. <laughs> Because, oh boy, we're getting into the clothing. Here we have some standard, you know, uniform pieces, the Oxford shirt, the black slacks or trousers, however you want to call them. Some Ravenclaw socks. We've actually got a lot more socks somewhere, but they might be on some house elves. Here is one of my favorite Hogwarts dresses. It's reversible. You can wear it backwards. When you reverse it, it is the Great Hall, and it is so beautiful. I can't... I want to wear it every day of my life. My other fun Hogwarts dress is, you know, it's got Hedwig, it's got all the pages from the books, it's got Hogwarts on the bottom. Here's just my standard Sorcerer's Stone tank top fun stuff. Another tank top, Expecto Patronum. Here we have an old and dirty house sweatshirt with all the house mascots being real cute. And here we have a bunch of Harry Potter Pokemon shirts because uh, little known fact, Hogwarts absolutely has a Pokemon League. We got a little Draco tee that I cut all up years ago. Some beautiful 2001 Harry Potter shirts that are way too small for me. Don't forget Fluffy, she's beautiful. My favorite Ravenclaw sweatshirt, which I love because it just feels like a, a standard like college sweatshirt. Ravenclaw, and I love it. Tessa and I play twinsies wearing these. And of course, my cake worthy, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good flannel, even though that's a lie. I am always trying to be up to good. That phrase always kind of bothered me. I love mischief managed, but I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Not really my style. <laughs> a nice vintage Hogwarts Quidditch sweatshirt. And oh boy, does that mean we're getting to the Quidditch stuff? Cause baby, we're just getting started. If you don't know, after Hogwarts, in college at NYU, I played on the Quidditch team. So I got, you know, the International Quidditch Association uh, hoodie and well, a lot of Quidditch shirts. This one was actually my jersey at NYU. I played in three World Cups. You think I'm lying, but it's true. Muggle Quidditch, look it up. And if it helps prove it to you in here, I also have... <laughs> Way down in here. <sighs> my Scarlet Falcon. 
Now technically I didn't actually play on this for more than once or twice because the bristles all would have fallen out, but gotta love Alavan's brooms. And no, it's not a Nimbus 2001, it's a Scarlet Falcon. Just clearing that up. And if you want more proof, I even have a scar on my collarbone from when I broke it in the World Cup. Yeah, rough game, Quidditch. Anywho, I believe that's all we got in here. Woo! So thank you so much for coming on that journey with me. I know there's more stuff I have like Horcruxes and more standard Harry Potter books and DVDs, but they are strewn all about the country. <laughs> because when I moved cross country, I didn't bring everything with me. But uh, rest assured, I do, I do have all the books and all the movies, many, many copies of them. But this is just some of the stuff I thought would be fun to share. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in more what's in my blank bag videos, leave a comment with a suggestion. If you're interested in more, Harry Potter themed videos like this, let me know if there's anything specific you have in mind because I'd love to try it out. I can't believe I wore these that whole time. That was not really my intention. It just kind of happened. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and you made it this far, you might as well. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video.